I didn't know anything about League of Ireland. I didn't know anything about Dundalk. The mentality of the media, nice word is say skeptical, but maybe it was worse than skeptical. Our appointment was kind of joke. They were saying, well, who are them? Nobody knows them. The club has been successful in the last number of years, winning a lot of league titles, and, and we um, lost that this year. So the cup final probably had a little extra meaning for us. So nearly the last game of the season, obviously, we've Arsenal to play, but to go out on a high like that was something that we really wanted and something that we felt we needed. We were able to come back up here to the town after the game and um, see all the fans out in the square here in Dundalk and uh, made for a memorable occasion. In the worst of circumstances, you lost your groundsman during the year and yep. you paid tribute to him on Sunday. Yeah, we had t-shirt printed out. Harry, you know, he was he was more more much more than a groundsman. You know, he was uh, such a prominent figure around the club, a real heartbeat of the community, that it was it was a nice way that we could pay that tribute on Sunday in a way we couldn't pay it in the middle of a lockdown. A complication this season in Europe has been the UEFA coaching license question. The UEFA, they are right. I am not a UEFA Pro license. I have six uh, football licenses. I think I am one of the most educated coach around. I just wonder how difficult it is to do the job in these circumstances. It's impossible. I am a coach that I need to be there. I need to fight with my players from the sideline. You need to adjust things during the game. And I am this kind of coach, I have to be there. And don't be there really frustrated me and frustrated my staff and sometimes frustrated the players. Very difficult time for the finances of football. And that apparently a lot of players are wondering what's going to happen to me next at Dundalk. Now I would hope negotiations have started with a lot of our players because it's no more than they deserve. For me, I would have liked to see negotiations and contracts being nailed down earlier than this stage. It should never really have come to this late in the campaign for it to be hashed out. For a player to not know where his next job is, is obviously going to be difficult, especially with us coming to the end of our season. What are you hoping for on Thursday? I hope that we we beat Arsenal 3-0. <laughs> but realistically, um, I, I, I'm hoping that we give a good performance of ourselves and that, that we uh, we finish off the season on a high and, and that we give our supporters more cheer and more, um, more positivity in a year that there hasn't been that much for, for anybody really.